Okay, so I'm going to explain to you how I use the app Doseri on my iPad to make my instructional videos. I had a hard time trying to screen capture on my iPad because it wanted to show you what it would look like if you were using this in your classroom and not show you all the tips and tools. So I just took some pictures and I'm just going to explain what they are. So when you open up the app, it's going to give you two options. I like to use the one that says from my iPad alone. The through a computer is if you're going to have something projected up for your kids to look at while you walk around and control it with your iPad. So for this video, I'm going to just focus on using it from your iPad alone. So you can see on this shot um, a lot of the videos that I've created. If you're going to go in and create a new one, you click the little plus sign down here at the bottom to make a new project. And then it's going to give you some different sizes. I always just go with the iPad default because I'm always recording them on my iPad and it's worked great for everything I've needed it for. When you open it up and you start your new project, there are lots of tools in there for you to use. The, uh, this button right here will help you change the background. You can do a grid or some different just like plain papers. The grid is helpful. I used that when I was teaching long division and wanted to make sure I was focusing on lining the numbers up. Otherwise, I'd only just do a white background. You can insert a picture. I typically will insert a picture of the anchor chart that I have made in PowerPoint. Uh, and then I write on it using the tool. So I like to use a stylus pen and um, I'll use different colors to write in different parts of the image. I will use more than one slide. So over here you can click the arrow to go to a new slide. One tip that I found helpful is to get my slides set up before I actually click record. So I make sure that I have all my images in the slides and in the order that I want them before I start recording. Another helpful tip is this little thing right down here. You can slide up and use that as a wrist guard so that when you're writing on your iPad screen, your wrist doesn't bump down at the bottom and make random stray marks. So that's a helpful little tip. Once you're done recording, you'll hit stop and then you can export your video with that button right there. Um, it's really user friendly, it's pretty easy to use and it's a great way to make instructional videos to use in your classroom.